Hey everyone, Mtash here, and today we're going to be looking at the Raid Pulse Rifle, the inaugural address. It's pretty damn good looking, it's kind of a tongue twister, and it has some very cool perk synergy. So let's take a peek. Kill Clip will give you bonus damage when you reload after a kill, which synergizes nicely with Outlaw, where you gain reduced reload time after landing a precision kill. Or, if you want to go a little bit safer, you can go with Ambitious Assassin, where after you get rapid kills, two or three kills, you can reload your gun, get some bonus damage, and a larger magazine in the weapon. On average, I'd say you can get 55 to 59 bullets in the magazine using Ambitious Assassin. So overall, the perks on this thing look pretty good, the stats look alright, you would think this would be a good gun. But for me, this one's like a 3 or a 4 out of 10. I don't know why exactly, I think it's because it's such a slow firing pulse rifle, it feels clunky to use. Even against enemies in PvE, it just doesn't feel good. And in PvP, it is literally one of the worst weapons I've used so far. It felt so bad that I felt handicapped the entire game. And I mean, come on, you guys have seen me play PvP. I can make, you know, a wet banana work in PvP. But the inaugural address felt terrible. It felt terrible. I was actually sitting there uh, getting frustrated, even though I was testing out the weapon. I was, you know, that's my job. I'm trying to test out the weapon. But I was getting frustrated because every time I got into engagement, I felt like I was going to lose. I never had confidence. Even when I was landing on my shots, I was landing on my crits and losing duels because the time to kill of this weapon is so poor. I don't know. Maybe I need to get used to it, but I just felt terrible using this weapon, and uh, I, I, I didn't like it. I did not like it. And I mean, at this range, I'm almost losing to an auto rifle, so that's pretty brutal. That should not happen. A pulse rifle at that range should dominate an auto rifle, but it doesn't seem to be happening. There were so many situations where I felt like I was leaving an opponent with just a sliver of health, because it fires so slow, it's so chunky. That when people run away, you just, you can't secure the kill. In duels against scout rifles, you will get dominated. You will never, ever win a 1v1 engagement. If you both shoot at the same time, you're dead. The time to kill in this thing, it, it honestly feels like it's a second longer than everything else. And I don't know if it's because the amount of bursts it takes to kill everyone is the same as other pulse rifles, but it just shoots way slower. But I had no confidence in myself. And this is coming from a guy that last video, or a couple videos ago, I got to run out of medals with the gun first try, first game. I know what I'm doing in PvP, and I feel like an idiot. I feel like an idiot running out there. I'm like, trying to shoot people. I feel like that big sloth guy from the Goonies running around. Hey, you guys, I got a post rifle. It's bad. It's really bad. I don't know why I brought Sloth into the equation, you know, he didn't do anything wrong. Maybe he's great with this pulse rifle, I don't know. But for me, oh my goodness, it is bad. It is bad, bad, bad. Maybe you like it. I'm sorry to shit talk the gun. But for me, I will never, ever recommend this gun to someone. I wouldn't. I don't think there's any situation where I felt like, yeah, 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 you should use the uh, inaugural address. That would kill them. That would kill them. Because it won't. It really won't. Even in PvE, I don't think I'd recommend this weapon, really. It's like a 5 or a 6 out of 10. Like, it, it works. It's got some great perks. It's got some cool synergy if you use Outlaw. Uh, it's got some great, you know, kill clip and uh, ambitious assassin. You know, 55 to 59 shots in the magazine. It sounds really cool. But at the same time, you could just use the Ghost Primus auto rifle from the raid, and I think you're going to have a better weapon overall. It's going to feel easier to use. And even though this one is harder to use and a little bit more clunky, I don't think it's actually better in any situation. At a range, it feels like some of your hits don't connect. It feels, you know, super average in a lot of up-close battles as well. And so I don't think I would recommend this gun to anyone. Ever. Not even once. Like, maybe, maybe if you wanted something sexy on your back, because it is a good-looking gun, but for actually shooting things and killing them? Come on! Come on! It's not good! You can't even, you can't even argue this at point. I mean, you, maybe you can argue it, but you're gonna be wrong! Trust me! Trust me! The gun's super average. But, at least it looks good. Kinda like me. <laughs> oh yeah, baby! Anyways, that's it for me. I'm gonna go take a snooze because I was up till 4 a.m. last night making raid guides, and I think I'm going a little bit insane. So, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more. Make sure to share this with your friends so they don't have to use this weapon themselves. And I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.